So budget-friendly smartwatches are coming thick and fast in 2021, which is just as well because not everyone's got three, four hundred quid to spunk on something that just sits on their wrist. So I've covered watches from the likes of Realme, Xiaomi, Amir's Fit that cost under £100 here in the UK. And now it's time for Nubia's Red Magic to get on the go. Red Magic, of course, well known for its gaming smartphones. And it'll cost you just 89 quid or 99 US dollars direct on the Red Magic online store. So let's whip it on out of the box, take you on a full on tour of all the features, the specs and everything else you need to know. And for more of the latest greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. All right, so inside the box, you get one Red Magic smartwatch looking quite snazzy already from a quick glance. You've got your proprietary USB charging dock, of course, with a good bit of Red Magic branding. Then you've got a user guide and that's it, nice and easy. Now the Red Magic watch can be grabbed in either black or silver. This is obviously the silver model. First impressions, very lightweight, that's for sure. It is constructed from a lightweight metal alloy case and does almost feel plasticky, but not quite. And while you've got a fairly sizable circular display here on the Red Magic watch, it is quite a slender device, certainly compared with a lot of modern smartwatches. It's a gently sloped display, so there's no bezels here that can protect the screen from scratches or scuffs. You'll have to be a bit careful. But you do get some nice time markings around the rim of that screen. You've got basic patterned silicone straps slapped here on the Red Magic watch. Those are fully removable, as with most smartwatches, so you can switch them up, customise the look in a jiffy. And like pretty much all 2021 smartwatches, the Red Magic Watch is water resistant or waterproof rather down to a depth of around 5 atmospheres, so that's about 50 metres. Uh, so if you want to go snorkeling, scuba diving, all good. And when you've finished ogling your fresh new Red Magic smartwatch, it's time to actually get it all set up and paired with your smartphone, in which case you need to download the Red Magic Sports app from Nubia Way. You can grab it here on the Google Play Store. Now let's power up the Red Magic Watch, get a bit of English on the go, that's always helpful. And then go to Device Binding. And there you go, that took all of about two seconds. And the Red Magic Sports app will look very familiar to anyone who's bought a basic smartwatch in recent times. You've got access to all of your main sort of sports slash health stats right here on the front screen, including your recent heart rate, any blood oxygen measurements you've done, your sleep tracking. And the stats on offer are pretty basic compared with what you'll get from the likes of Huawei Health, Google Fit, some rivals there. But if you tap on into any of the areas like the heart rate, you'll uh, see that the app will record all of your stats for the previous week, month, even a year. And if you tap on into the devices section of the app, this is where you basically set up the smartwatch to suit your own particular needs and tastes. So for instance, where you wear it, the left wrist or the right, you can activate the raised to wake feature. So let's get that on the go. And it looks like most of the features are deactivated by default. So you'll have to actually stick those on. And to do that, of course, you'll have to give Red Magic Sports permission to do everything. And you'll definitely want to set up the notification support as well. So your uh, Red Magic Watch will give you a quick buzz on your wrist whenever something ticks through from whichever apps you desire. And inside this app, you can also check out how much battery life is remaining on your Red Magic Watch. Although the lack of a space in between battery and the percentage number is starting to freak me out a bit. And you've also got a small variety of watch faces that you can uh, choose between as well. So you've got a selection of eight that you can choose uh, from which are local to the watch. And the ninth one is a gallery face you can actually customize your own watch face. Otherwise, if you select the online section, then you've got a few more to choose from there. And yeah, it's nowhere near as many as you get on the likes of the Huawei watches or of course, good old Wear OS and the like. Um, but you know, it's a respectable selection of analog and digital efforts, some quite colorful, quite quirky efforts. Got to say, I do like my spaceman. He's pretty cool. Otherwise, you can grab any photo from your uh, phone's gallery. So anything you've taken with the camera or that you've actually just downloaded onto the phone. So naturally, I'm just going to make a geeky anime one super quick. Like most of these custom watch face efforts, it is quite basic customization. Of course, you can basically change up how the time is displayed. And that's pretty much it. Et voila, the fruits of my labor. And the actual screen itself is a 1.39 inch AMOLED panel. Hence, you do have an always on display option, which you have to turn on in the settings. If you just go into the settings menu of the smartphone, you can see always on display is the first option there. You can choose exactly how that always on display looks. If you want an analog effort or a digital one instead, those are your four options. However, the always on display on the Red Magic Watch does kind of cheat a bit though, because it doesn't actually stay on all of the time. It only stays on for this amount of time, five, 10, 15 or 20 minutes after you last unhibernated the watch. Unhibernated, that's definitely not a word. Walk up the watch. But I really, really like the screen, especially for a budget smartwatch. You've got nice, strong viewing angles on it. It seems reasonably bright. You do have uh, full auto brightness as well. If you come down here, as you can see, you can activate or deactivate that. And on the top brightness level, certainly, yeah, that should be absolutely fine for a bit of outdoors use. 
The colors seem reasonably poppy as well and it's a 454 by 454 pixel resolution so nice crisp visuals so even really tiny text comes through nice and clear now the red magic watches ui is certainly very very familiar certainly if you've uh, seen my uh, realme watch unboxings or any of the other sort of budget smartphones i've handled recently in fact the settings menu is pretty much identical to the likes of that realme watch as you can see that just gives you fast access to a couple of features such as the torch mode way blinding you got fast access to a couple of features in there such as the do not disturb mode as well handy if you're uh, trying to get a big kip or something and of course the power saving mode as well if your battery life is running a bit thin on the ground settings menu is pretty basic though you've got the always on display the screen off which just says how long it is before your screen actually hibernates can only put that up to 20 seconds again the do not disturb and if you're diving the system that's just how you like reset or restart the smartwatch and then no surprises in the rest of the UI you flick up to access your notifications nothing has ticked through for me so far so I'm gonna have to check why that's the case because I have allowed it I've accepted it in the uh, the app and of course naturally no sooner do I say that the notifications start trickling through complete with a bit of rumble action uh, just a brief summary of each message you can't reply or anything all you can do is delete the notification and then if you swipe left or right you've got access to all the various widgets as well including media controls and that seems to work absolutely fine with third-party apps like Deezer uh, so I've got Deezer under my smartphone now I've just hit pause it pauses my music play instantly plays it again there's like no delay you can skip tracks uh, backwards and forwards and you can even have a tinker around with the volume as well the rest of the widgets are fairly standard stuff you've got your current heart rate and a, a measurement of your heart rate throughout the day you've got your sleep record you've got the weather in your local area and of course your current stats for the day including how far you've walked has uh, been as far as the toilets and back for me so far that burned one whole calorie excellent and then back to the main watch face again and if you hit this little button up top that will bring up all of your various apps and again fairly basic standard stuff kind of similar to what you'd find on the older one way watches what you see is what you get you can't download more stuff so again you can measure your heart rate you can measure your spo2 levels you've got breath training which is basically like a stress tracker type thing it doesn't actually teach you how to breathe it just teaches you to breathe in and out slowly uh, thus de-stressing you and making you feel all zen you got your sleep tracking you got compass weather your music half of the stuff that we've already covered in the widgets and then of course your stopwatch and your countdown timer you've got an alarm clock on there as well find your phone and then if you hit that bottom button that is fast access to the workout app uh, which doesn't seem to be customizable i haven't seen any way of being able to change that to a different app and it's a semi-respectable selection on here you've got most of the main stuff covered off including outdoor and indoor runs you've got outdoor and indoor walks outdoor cycling spinning hiking swimming basketball a bit of yoga rowing elliptical cricket strength training football and if none of that covers whatever random jiggling about you're going to do to work off that beer gut then just go to other training you can set a heart rate reminder and a workout goal as well to see exactly how many calories you want to burn or how long you want to do the workout for and then off you go and after the uh, pointless little countdown bit you can then see exactly how long you've been exercising for how many calories you've burned and it does monitor your heart rate throughout as well so again pretty basic stuff compared with a lot of other smart watches this is definitely for the more casual sort of fitness enthusiast who just wants to keep a basic track of uh, how their heart rate is faring during exercise how many calories they've burnt on a daily basis that sort of thing and if you're going to be doing a bit of uh, outdoor exercise as well like walking or running as you can see there you've got built-in gps here in the red magic watch to hopefully increase the accuracy of exactly how far you've wandered uh, but of course because i'm indoors right now it's struggling to connect as for the battery and I feel red magic reckons you'll get around 15 days of standard use out of this watch from a full charge before it'll need slapping onto that proprietary dock of course if you've got the likes of the always on display on the go then that is going to cut that quite dramatically so expect probably no more than a sort of a week or so though you do always have that power saver mode if you are struggling a bit and that's still pretty damn good as far as modern smartwatches go so there you have it the red magic smartwatch as i say 99 dollars or 89 quid from red magic itself not a bad price as you see nothing really there to help it stand out from the crowd the likes of the realme s pro uh, the oneplus watch all that shenanigans so there's an everyday no hassle small watch should hopefully do the job but it'd be great to hear your own thoughts on the red magic watch down below please do put subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week cheers everyone love you